Let's pretend this channel is still about Gnome, and let me quickly show you a few things coming out of my head that happened in the last couple of days. Are you ready? So we have the new OSD controls merged, that are basically more easy to the eye. And my favorite is the workspace switcher, although there is still not a visual feedback when you're hitting an edge. Now, you all know about GNOME removing the rounded corners, which was a both design and performance change. What you may not know though, is that makes it easier for getting an adaptive panel that is still an idea that hasn't been dropped. Oh, and in case you missed it, the arrows on menus are also gone. All those are basically small UI changes, but here's one coming yesterday that breaks compatibility with GNOME design language. So if we open the new shell screenshot, and select video capture, we'll get an indicator together with a close button on the top panel. Normally the indicator should have been part of the rest icons, and the close button should be inside the user menu, but it took an exception for better discoverability. Basically there are lots of visual changes here and there, that many of them none will most probably ever notice. Like this new eye icon. I didn't even see the patches, but I just spotted the difference. But you will certainly notice a smooth transition when we're switching between the two modes. Where I couldn't realize any difference though, was after applying the triple buffer merge request, possibly because of my discrete video card, and perhaps systems with Intel GPUs will benefit from this change. In the meantime, the extension app continues to receive both visual and under the hood improvements. Not that really matters, because all the extensions are pretty much broken, but nice changes anyway. Speaking of nice changes, here you go one change that is not nice at all. So GNOME software might be dangerously beautiful, and the new comments section might be properly redesigned, at least visually, but I still don't get what's even the point to comment and rate without logins? But those are the apps that actually matter, and maybe files won't get a port to GTK4 for GNOME 42 release, but you have nothing to worry about. Because I will upload a video how to easily install it from sources, both in Ubuntu 22.04 and Fedora 36, while Arch users can get it from our anyways. And so that was everything for now. Bye bye from the deep space!